And here comes Jackson Arnold. Guys, this is obviously a guy that's high up in your rankings as a five star, but the coaches here this week have raved about the job that Arnold's done at quarterback. Oh, Pardo, you and I saw him this fall, and to me, it was the singularly most impressive performance we saw on ESPN High School Football Showcase, where he dominated with his arm, but he also impressed with his ability to run. He is a true dual threat, and the coaches, his head coach, Reed Heim there at Geyer High School, and then Tom, the coaches on the staff this week, yeah. just raved about his poise and his command of the offense, how quickly he picks things up. Oh, he's played at a very high level there in the state of Texas. He's used to a high level of competition and a high caliber athlete to go against each and every week. Now they were undefeated at Denton Geyer when we saw him, and he throws for the first time, and Braylon James, the Notre Dame commit, has a first down up the sideline. We mono, who can line up and beat the guy in front of him? Now, even with a little trouble with the snap, Arnold has back-to-back -back completions to James. Those guys are not playing together in college, but have had a good connection this week. Oklahoma to Notre Dame there. A nice job there of Arnold adjusting to the snap and then just getting it out of his hands quick. Just a compact, smooth release. Notice how effortless everything yeah. is. He's po You mentioned poised. He's quick to get the ball out. He's quick to process, understands timing, and this is what he is really good at and doesn't probably get as much notoriety as it should. Yeah, when we saw him this fall, he ran for 78 yards. One of those is a 58-yard run for a score. On seven rushes, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, he got to close to 300 yards passing, and we're talking about the poise and the stuff that you guys are talking about in the pass game, and then he busts one out in the open field like that. Yeah, if you're, if you're Jeff Levy, the offensive coordinator, Brent Venables in Oklahoma, you've got to be tickled to death that this guy's coming to Norman. Yeah, they were talking trash to each other all week about how the other was going to beat the other and the fastest man. Uh, team speed still without points, and uh, Tom, you're talking about taking a shot. They did just out of the reach of Kelton Henderson. Yeah. Team this week. Almost connected in the game for the first big play. Uh, Arnold's got to get out of there. We talked about him using his legs, and he does for a first down. Yeah, that was a designed run. You saw the big guys down there leading for him. Uh, to Wisconsin in the transfer portal. Not a lot of depth left for the Sooners at quarterback. And Jackson Arnold on the move again, and his receiver fell down. Here is Oklahoma's future quarterback slinging it out to the sideline complete. And they move the chains, first down. And Jackson Arnold was saying that they've had some Oklahoma Sooner lunch tables. They've gotten some early bonding in before they go to Norman. And that's knocked down incomplete. Man, they... They're the best. One of the showcase events he was at. Oklahoma fan drew it up for him. Inspired by his mustache a little bit, right? Here's Uncle Rico on third down and 10. Arnold out of the pocket. And another first down with his legs on this drive. That's two for Arnold. No reason to throw it over to Mountains when you got wheels. <laughs> Things are going to break down. Does a nice job climbing the pocket. Nothing there. You seize the green. Takes off and move, picks up the first. So Arnold with 30 yards rushing in this first half. He's the leading rusher in this game. And they're trying to lead team speed to their first points before halftime. And going to the end zone, and they've got their first points. Touchdown, team speed. Uh, a lot of people thought he would end up at Florida, but for now, verbal to Miami. And that pass is intercepted. Competition. I mean, that's it. I feel like I've done that in practice and in the game here, so. You're doing that. You're going to be doing that at Clemson. Why the Tigers? So team speed just moved it with Edwards on a first down. And close to another one. Setting up second and short with Jackson Arnold back on the field at quarterback. Boy, can he get rid of that football. On time, ball's out. Pew. Tough to defend. He knows he's got man-to-man -man coverage, so it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Out of the pistol with Jackson Arnold. Pulling it out of the belly of Dylan Edwards. What do you expect to do? Um, I, expect, I expect to be that, that dude. That's that's what I'm supposed to do. You know, I was born like that. You know, I just want to come in. I just want to change with my parents' genetics. You know, God, I believe he put me on, on earth for a reason. You know, just to showcase the talent he gave me, so. I'm just going to keep doing A few more to go, Mackie. <laughs> oh, Shick, you sly devil. Keep it for the next three minutes, Shick. <laughs> well Holy done. Smokes. Taken there during Matt's interview. He pulls it right here off the zone read, keeps the ball, and then turns on the Jets. Big gainer. 
And now he's got the front door open, so it looks like he's going to take off and run. Watch him just toss his underhand. <laughs> Only gained about three or four, but just kind of the wherewithal, the riverboat gambler type of mentality. Love it. Jonella Guerrero out of Massachusetts going to Georgia. Really nice job, though, of closing and shutting that play down. And the team speeds two of 11 on third down. They've got a third and one. And Arnold keeps the play alive, but it's incomplete. He wanted Matt. This game has winners. And Jackson Arnold back out to the flank again. And they get close to a first down. Noble Johnson, Clemson signed with the catch. Team speed with Jackson Arnold trying to keep it going on. Fourth down and four, down one score. And Arnold going to the far side, going for the score, oh. incomplete. Mikey Matthews, who had three-yard touchdown pass. What did you see on the play? I uh, just saw Mikey one-on-one. -on -one. You know, all that can play is man, but Mikey's been really consistent in practice in those slot fades, and saw him one-on-one, -on -one, knew how to take it. What's this week done for you? Uh, it's improved me a lot as a player. Um, you know, not only that, but it's kind of given me a glimpse into what college ball is going to be like. You know, everyone here is going D1, and uh, everyone here is the best of the best. So, playing against these guys early on is only going to, you know, help me out in the future. Headed to Oklahoma. How would you describe the fit there with OC Jeff Levy? I think the fit's uh, shoot, it's perfect. I mean, we run almost like the identical, identical offenses. You know, different terminology, of course, but offenses are very similar. So it'll be very easy for me to adjust to. Congratulations uh, so far on being an Under Armour All-American and uh, best of luck the rest of the way. So thank you.